In today's video, what we're gonna do is take a look at the top five iOS applications of February 2017. Now we're going to take a handful of applications that have been looked at over this month and give you some recommendations so that you can go away and use them in your own activities. Now the first one I recommend is called Feedly. Now a lot of you may have heard of it, but I really recommend it for content curation. Now it manages all of the news that I follow anyway, so basically you, you set it up with all of the items that you want. So whether you're following marketing or business or, or whether you're even following like food or, or like knitting or something very specific, you can set everything up there. Now I recommend setting it up on the web version, so they have an iOS and web version and also an Android version that work really, really well. Now the great thing about this is obviously sometimes you get a bunch of news that you don't really want a lot of the time and you can actually filter out a lot of the unimportant stuff and the unrelevant stuff that you don't follow. Now jumping on to Strides, now Strides is a way for you to plan a new goal or a new habit. Now it basically tracks your goals and habits statistically, so you basically update it. Um, so let's say you're challenging yourself to run three times a week. Uh, you can actually have that set up on there and basically clock in each time you do a run and see how far you are getting on and monitor all of your habits and goals. Now the great thing about this is it's got projections as well, so it helps you manage future results. So for example, if I enter every couple of days how like my YouTube channel and YouTube subscribers are going, it basically gives you a projection of how I'll end up uh, against my target, which is quite nice. So it gives you actionable data that's really helpful. So jumping on to the next one, ScanBot is another application that I continually recommend as a way to like capture documents. Although I use uh, Evernote's document scanner and PDF scanner, this is a great way using ScanBot to quickly and reliably take a photo of a document, get a really strong image from it, and then also send it over in PDF or any format you like. Now I really like the annotation feature as well, so you actually have the ability to annotate the PDF before you send it over. And it's a great way on the go so that you're always uh, on top of your game when it comes to being given a document and scanning it into another service. So recently I've been trying to track some of my runs and also some of my activities and I was a heavy user of Nike Plus Running. Recently I found an application called Strava which helps me plot and organize all of my runs. It's a really neat application for runners and cyclists as well to actually track GPS wise uh, when you're going on a run. Obviously I know other apps like Nike do this and Runtastic but this is a really soft and nice way of doing it. I really like the design of it. Now they've also got a dashboard view, so when you're actually using it, whether it's on the bike or whether it's on a run, you can actually see your, and all of the useful insights while you're going around on your run, so it sort of motivates you as you go along. Finally, an application called Hours, which I've been very impressed by. It allows you to audit your time spent across your day. Now, for those freelancers and business individuals out there, and you're looking for a way to organize, like find out how much time you're spending on a certain client or a certain person, um, or whether you just wanna work out how much of time you're wasting, it's a great way for you to track your hours as you go across your day. So you can clock in um, all of the time that you spend. Uh, and basically at the end of the day, it can give you a report on how much time you spent on certain things. Uh, which might give you some insight into, oh my god, I need to stop spending time on email, etc. This application is free on iOS at the moment, so you can actually use it as much as you want on iOS, but there is a paid web dashboard, which gives you the ability to um, like see all of your data and input and log it on the web, which is quite a nice experience, especially if you're a PC user. Anyway guys, those are all of the iOS applications that I recommend this month. I'm going to be doing this as a monthly appearance, so I'm looking forward to sharing a few more features with you. Anyway guys, I put out regular videos on this YouTube channel, so make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, if you found any use from it. There are great people in the comments to actually interact with and talk about these applications. Also, I'm sure there'll be a host of more recommendations down there. Anyway guys, make sure to have a great week, keep productive, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Cheers.